we're going to replace John Wick with Steven Seagal. There's no better way to explain Steven Seagal than to just show you Steven Seagal. In the 90s, he starred in a bunch of forgettable action movies and quickly gained a reputation. Uh, not for being a good actor, but for being a terrible human being. Screw that guy! I don't hate many people, but that guy I hate. That's wow. actually, that's a Strong feelings. good call. So you want him in John Wick too, what, as well. What? Since then, every one of his movies has lowered our expectations and then failed to meet those expectations as he's gotten lazier and lazier. As he gets fatter, his clothing becomes longer and looser to hide the shame. I love the f out of cookies. Basically just wears bags. Your words deeply hurt me. He's creepy and inappropriate towards younger women. That's in his real life and on camera. He writes his own films. I will snatch every mother birthday. What does that mean? Over time, he has developed an African-American accent. I hate it. How come you're not watching the Oscars tonight? You got 15 mother in there with guns and you know it. Let me tack up. Let me tack up. Let me tack up. Another trope, very incoherent. Say put them coming to the side door sharp. I need you to look at the target room on the eighth floor. That's my bad man. I get him out there. Get him out there. Get him out there. Get him out there. Get him out He uses body doubles for action scenes that are much fitter than him. Oh, there's a oh, yeah, stunt yeah, double. Yeah. yeah, he just gets everyone else to do the cool stuff for him and then he just kind of pops in at the end. He will use stunt doubles for scenes where he's walking. He's not doing mm. any kind of action, but he's just like couldn't be bothered to do the shot. He's a huge narcissist and pathological liar. He okay. exaggerates his accomplishments in interviews. And this kind of goes back to the stuntman thing, right? Does um, he hit them? Mm. I feel like he hits them. You can stack punches. You can sell punches without actually making physical contact. He doesn't. He actually just hits them as hard as he can. And uh, stuntmen don't want to work with him. That's uh, a negative. So here's an action scene. Seagal claims to be an Aikido master, uh, but I would call that uh, more of a silly slap. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the Putin stuff. <laughs> so he lazily handles firearms on screen. He's Look at this kidding. switch. Oh man, yeah. Look at this lazy, sloppy gun handling. He's barely looking at where he's shooting, ever. Just like blindly firing into a crowd sometimes. So now he has a yeah, knife check it out. and he's waving it like it's a sword. <laughs> I do. Look at this. I used to do that when I was eight. Another thing, he doesn't like to stand up. <laughs> this is called sniper special ops. Yep. No, no colon. Steven Seagal found a way to be seated for pretty much all of the movie. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Look at him just fighting, sitting down. What is this? Crouching tiger, sitting dragon. <laughs> <laughs> now, when he does, uh, sometimes get out of his seat. Um, he has a run, and it is a very, very strange run. One arm that kind of windmills like this, the other one sort of goes out. How does no, he get out of there, though? No, no, dig the ladder. He just Steal it! falls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. You know what this reminds me of? Mm. This reminds me of John Wick. <laughs> Steven Seagal has always survived through all of his terrible movies <laughs> <laughs> with somehow without being canceled. <laughs> it's a story of survival. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it is. Uh, and so that's why I kind of think that like a Steven Seagal would be a perfect star mm. for the John Wick series. I'm in. Are you in? I feel like John Wick. I turn a cup to a mosh pit. Once this thing's created, we're gonna let the audience decide. You know, we're gonna let the people decide. Yeah. Does this need Keanu or is it a Keanu free franchise? The government can't keep us locked down because bitch, I'm too locked in. I had it all, man. Fast cars, best friends, extremely young women. But them dick skin honkies took the one thing that mattered most my chair. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. The greatest assassin to ever live. I'm a professional killer. Handsome, wise, and articulate. Once Abnormal's confirmed to be in there, you can take him out, but wait for my word. He's also really good at guitar, and he did it all sitting down. All the habits die hard. They gonna have to pay for what they done. Have you returned to the fold? My brother, if I get back in, I need resources. Let me tack up. Wait, is he standing? No, I'm running. You run, you die. 
You gotta tell me straight so I can know who's coming for us. Oh, please, yes, sir. It's like a monkey trying to fuck a football now, really. What have you done? We've just succeeded in burning these bitches to the ground. You, uh, working again? Yeah. I'm thinking I'm black. <laughs> Round of applause for these gentlemen. Beautiful, beautiful. That was a small sample size, and we want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Would you actually go and spend a literal $18 to watch John Thick in theaters? Yeah. And like and subscribe, it helps us out. <laughs>